Hi Leo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love read. Let's see Leo, how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And uh, Leo, of course, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you. Leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. So, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, uh, Leo, you know which side this is, um, which side you're on. For me, this is going to be person A, this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, three of wands in reverse. Is somebody turning their back on this connection? Mm. Leo, it seems uh, somebody doesn't want things to change. They don't want things to change. But I don't know. This person doesn't want to be the first one to apologize either, it seems. The other person feels, yeah, you know, this. my person is just too stubborn. They keep breaking my heart I I don't want to have this stress anymore mm, so I don't know what's going to happen of course uh, I do sense there's a little bit of stubbornness even those at least person A doesn't but does want a return they don't want things to change between the two of you person B is getting a little fed up and saying you know what things are just not moving forward they're taking too long and I can't live in this stress anymore so I'm going to clarify the rest of the cards of course but first let's start with your dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other what that would be and then I'm going to clarify these uh, Leo and their person spirit Leo and their person Leo and that person. All right. A few more Leo from another deck. Leo and that person. Leo and that person. Okay. And just a few more Leo from a third deck as well. And then we're going to start your reading. Leo and that person. Leo and that person. Spirit. good to go Leo let's start your reading and if any of you are looking for personal readings my email is in the description box below you can reach me there the first card here says I would be honored to have a family with you my past of how I was raised affects how I act now in life I feel so much passion for you I want to regain your trust. I need you to need me like I need you. I want you here next to me. Let's talk and clear the air. I want to make things right. I don't care what my family or anyone else has to say. I want you and nobody else. I thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side, but it wasn't. I act like I, I don't care, but deep down it affects me more than you'll ever know. I fell so deeply in love with you. I'm under so much stress. I'm healing my heart from past hurt. Give me some time. You inspire me. All right, Leo, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start your reading with, a, with an angel blessing card. Let's see what my angels have for you today as a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message and the message you hear that you have is higher education maybe this is a lesson yes this is a very strong soulmate connection but it was meant to teach both of you something 
maybe one person had to learn self worth and not wait around for somebody who was just not willing to give them what they deserved maybe the other person had to learn a little lesson in uh, being stubborn or uh, being controlling uh, or you know then you lose out on the best thing in your life which is love if you're not willing to give then you don't get maybe both of you had to teach each other some kind of a lesson here so well let's see what's going to happen next i'm going to start with the energy of person a and newcomers don't get confused okay these are just two soul energies in front of me i don't know which side you're on you could be either side once you hear the reading you'll pick up pick up on that and this is not gender based as well there is no man here and woman there these are two souls interacting with each other so person a let's start with you what's the death card in reverse death card in reverse yeah i they actually thought things would never change yep now they thought things would never change they never invested i think they're starting to feel that because i never invested and i'm have i'm going to have a missed opportunity now now they're seeing that their biggest wish is going to be taken away from them they're pretty feeling pretty hopeless give me one more for the death card in reverse yep this person was yes i told you uh, king of swords in reverse emperor in reverse knight of cups in reverse i mean all those characters are here which is representing one person maybe they they had a need to control all the time or just be stubborn or it's my way or the highway or um, just emotionally closed off not loving and warm and planning the future this person did not want to change and maybe they are now feeling uh, the loss at not investing when the time was right page of cups in reverse they feel even their apology may not work anymore because their person seems to have put up boundaries now now uh, they they feel that their person says that uh, if you are not never going to give to me equally then i don't want a silly apology right if you're never going to give me that's what a person is feeling that oh my god i thought i didn't think they would ever change but they changed up on me and now i'm feeling now even if i go and apologize to them it's not good enough my person is not going to forgive me that easily why do you feel this way person a tell me knight of cups in reverse well why did you break their heart did you break some promises yep i think person a never really move this connection along they put a spoke in that wheel of fortune to say you know what i'm not ready yet and being stubborn and it, i will decide or i'm not willing to offer you my cup or yes see selfish self-centered behavior it was always about them i mean at least person a is realizing all that about themselves i think this is person a figuring out that i'm going to have a missed opportunity my person is not going to uh, take my apology anymore uh, i was selfish i was self centered i was only thinking about myself i made promises i never kept i broke my person's heart and now things are stuck emperor in reverse i think the other person saw through them and probably gave up on them and now they are sitting in sleepless nights stress tension nightmares because they feel uh, they've lost their position right they feel their person has given up on them and taken back their power so person a what do you how do you feel now how do you feel about person b now how do you feel about the connection person a says om kara taro all i want is a return if only my person would come back to me or allow me to go back to the way you know we were that's it. that's just the only thing that i want right now because there's absolutely stagnancy at the moment in our connection eight of cups eight of cups now they are feeling rejected because um, i think with their bad behavior that person has left or maybe emotionally walked away now it's making person a feel very rejected and all they can think about is how how can i get a return back of the way things were so page of pentacles 
page of pentacles yeah that person is holding back not even messaging uh, maybe they feel that their person is now behaving all single and independent and doing their own thing maybe talking to other people and holding back from them so person is really feeling the stagnancy of the change that's come in their person from over giving or waiting on them to make a decision and they being all puffed up to say I'm not ready or I'm not going to give and I will tell you they're suddenly now in stress and anxiety because the script has flipped. They've realized that my person is not even fighting for, the, for me anymore. They're worried that their person has shut the chapter on them and moved on. So, well, that means you'll have to take some action, person A, and this is your action card, which I'm going to open later. First, I'm going to go to person B and figure out how they are feeling. So, person B, nine of uh, pentacles in reverse in your feelings. I think person B had been manifesting for a long time. They, they feel they wasted too much time they kind of put their life on hold maybe they didn't want to be single they were manifesting that one day the truth will be out my person will reveal what's in their heart and uh, yeah they were hoping person a would rush towards them and reveal uh, so that you know but that offer never came they never came with any kind of apology no kind of love offer and that left person be always feeling stuck like when they did talk person B says when they did talk that communication was so you know rash and immature and not what I wanted to hear from them and here I feel I wasted all this time so this this kind of situation just kept me stuck and here I was manifesting something else Anyway, person B says, you know what, my, my realization is I am the only one wasting my own time and it's time for me to get unstuck from this very stuck, stuck situation. I, I've been kept in this blindfolded. I felt that this is my person. I have to stay there. Now I've realized there's an open path in front of me. I've removed my blindfold. I've taken that off. I'm walking off. I'm not going to stay stuck in a situation now that I know that what my person is all about. Yeah, in fact, I've stopped even talking to them now. There is no communication between us. I'm not even interested in talking to a person who's only going to come to me when they're passionate or they want fun and be immature. I don't want all that. That clarity has come to me now, Umkara Taro. And uh, well, they broke my heart. They totally broke my heart. So, person B, tell me why do you feel that way? Person B says, because I always was manifesting being their better half, getting that proposal, you know, seeing myself as their partner for life. And I've, I just kept waiting. Queen of uh, Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Yes, see, so somebody was waiting for that person to level up sooner or later they're going to come they're going to get me out of feeling that i'm always on the outside feeling abandoned and not getting that offer sooner or later they're going to realize that we are a true match but what happened that person picked up that cup of love and dumped it the cup wasn't accepted for a very long time so person B is kind of healing. They've taken a step back now and they're thinking about all this, about how mm, they were never respected in a situation. They were never given the offer to have fertility, growth, abundance in a connection. I think person B is healing right now and thinking about why am I wasting my time being in a connection where I never feel, you know, that I'm valued by my person. So person B tell me, uh, how do you feel about the connection now? How do you feel about person A? How do you feel about the connection? Person B immediately showed me this. Uh, Ten of Wands. I'm releasing this connection because my person is never going to change. So I'm making that decision. Uh, Six of Swords in reverse. Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, person B says, in my heart and mind, 
I always treated person A as my partner, as somebody that I wanted to grow old with, have generational, you know, wealth with or times with or a life with, where we could, you know, have that family and the children and the dog and the home and live happily ever after. But now I realize this boat is not going there. It's not going towards that peace and happiness. In fact, it's always been going backwards. There's just too much unrest. I've taken some time out right, right now, Omkara Taro, to see things from all different perspectives. So what have you realized, person B, kind man? <laughs> They've realized that there is no commitment on the table. Even if, person B says, even if I return, I'm returning back to a situation which is uh, not going to be solid or committed. So, yes, I have taken a step back now. Once Now that I'm clear about the truth, once I know, my intuition has told me, once I know about the truth, it's time to focus on my own happiness. The same happiness that I wanted with them at one point, it's time to focus on myself. I deserve to be happy. So what's the point to go back to a place where there is no commitment? So that's why person B is saying, I'm releasing this. Yeah, they always made me feel like I was not good enough, I was a loser. I'm, I'm getting out of this stuck situation. So tell me, um, both of you, what's the action you guys are going to take? I'm going to take another deck for this one, Leo. And while I shuffle these cards, may I please request you, if you could just tap the like button for me, please. Helps the videos to circulate, makes me feel happy to know how many of, of you I really connect with. And um, newcomers, repeating viewers, the ones who haven't subscribed already, do join the Omkara family. Subscribe to the channel. We welcome you in. So person A, action from your end towards person B or otherwise. Knight of Wands in reverse. Why the Knight of Wands in reverse? giving up your player ways. What's this? Knight of Wands in reverse. Justice. Six of Swords. The Hermit. Yep. And what are you manifesting? The Tower. Nine of Swords. Yeah, I think they're a little worried. This person is a little worried. They know they were giving illusions. They were maybe behaving like a player. This person has, this separation time, this person has also given it a lot of thought. They've given it a lot of thought and I don't think they want to be a player anymore. They do want to do the right thing. Whatever this boat was, which has always been in trouble and going backwards, this person now wants to take it towards that place of peace and happiness. They haven't come forward because somewhere they feel their apology may not be accepted. So they are manifesting uh, this person has had a tower. They've had a huge awakening. This separation has actually woken this person up and they are very stressed. They are right now, in, where, where, what, the same position I think they put person B in. Person B was in that uh, nine of swords energy for a very long time. This one, right? Now they are in it. Feeling trapped, feeling the overthinking, uh, wondering what to do. This person is also now being given that spiritual awakening to feel, what were you doing? What were you doing? They are manifesting, uh, I think, a return, but I don't think they've made a move yet because they're stressed out. They didn't expect things would ever change or things would ever blow up between the two of you. So what does that mean? Will you not take any action? <laughs> person A, I'm not going to let you go. Will you not take any action towards person B? You're just going to sit and manifest and stay stressed out. Why? Why won't you? Uh, why won't you take action? Tell me. Queen of Swords. Okay. <laughs> Nine of Cups and the Ten of Wands. They feel that the other person has, uh, out of the blue, decided to take their power back. Has their boundaries up. Has packed their bags. Ended things with them and looking very happy doing it. That's what the realization is, that their happiness was not subject to them. They thought that 
they were in control of person B's happiness. That realization that, hey, person B has decided, you know what, if you, you're not going to be on the same page, I'm cutting you off, I'm moving on, and I'm still going to be happy without you. That is the, maybe the lesson that they had to learn. Person B, tell me, what about you? Any action from your end towards person A or otherwise? The world. Person B is uh, wrapping up a chapter, it seems. I'm not saying shutting the door on person A yet, but they are wrapping up a very strong lesson. Uh, the chapter stays open till you don't learn a lesson. I think person B has learned their lesson. So, what's your action? Knight of Swords, High Priestess, Ten of Swords. Yeah, I think person B says, I've done my investigation, whatever I found out, now I'm using my intuition. It's time for me to realize that maybe this, this should be over now. Ten of Swords, I feel betrayed, I feel hurt, I feel it's time for me to shut this chapter down. Person B has gone quiet. Very disappointed because person A never made that choice. Yeah, they feel they kept secrets. I think person B was very emotional for a little time, but they've overcome that. Whatever they feel was hidden in the dark has now come to light. And it's time for me now, maybe to focus on my own self, my own work, maybe with other people. Because after this disappointment, person B is taking back power and control of their own life and looking happier for it, which person A is noticing and they are now petrified. So, well, that's what I have for you today, Leo. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste.